Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Past Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy, today on Amazon. K of the Demetri K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So there's a black woman by the name of Janique Martinez in Virginia Beach. She is having some troubles with her neighbors. Now, one day she called the police on her neighbors because the neighbor was playing loud music and the neighbor found out that it was her that called the police. And Janika said ever since then, the neighbor has been playing very loudly monkey sounds and racial slurs that, you know, they can hear. And she also believes that the neighbors have it set up to know when they're walking by because the lights all of a sudden come on when they walk by. And so she's called the police and the Virginia uh, Beach police says there's nothing they can do because while it is annoying and a little bit disturbing, there is no criminal offense that's actually taking place. Like they put the hands on them or, you know, done something to their house or something like that. And so they said until the neighbor actually does something that's criminal, there's nothing they can do about it. But what I want to know is this black people, when did we become crybabies? When did we start? They're doing this and that to us. I mean, I, you know, I'm not saying you should do something, but what about tapping into your inner radio Raheem, you know, and, you know, blast and fight the power or something? Because I guarantee you, if y'all do that enough, go back and forth, somebody else is going to get involved and they're going to say, hey, yeah, you know what? We need y'all to knock it off. But crying to the police, who is usually for white people, that's kind of an epic fail, if you will. But, you know, Janique was like, well, I have served in the military and my husband is a vet as well. And, you know, we went and fought for this country and nobody's fighting for us. And it's like, no, duh. Really? So you think because you went all the way to the military and back now, all of a sudden you got all these rights? Listen, so they used to hang black men in their military uniforms back in the world world two and one and all of that. So you ain't special. I know it's annoying, but you know what? Tap into some of that inner military training that you used to, you know, be privy to and put a plan together. You know, get your, I don't know, spook who sat by the door on something, but they ain't going to help you, sister. So anyway, y'all, y'all let me know what you think. For more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor. Hello, has everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app he calls on it these Torpedo platforms. Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com.